Hi guys, it's Umair and I am a DIT based in Dubai. In this video, I will show you how to use every frame line tool and how to make your custom frame lines. So many times on set, what happens is DOP or director comes to you and they tell you, okay, bro, we are shooting open gate, but we need to have 16 by nine frame lines, or we need to have nine by 16 frame lines, or we need two, three, nine frame lines, or nine by 16 frame lines, but not the full line, just the corners or just the lines uh, defining the border of the 9 by 16 so in this video I'm gonna tell you everything you need to do about every frame lines tool so first of all you need to ask four questions what camera are we using what resolution are we gonna be shooting in and what codec are we using and at the end are we using any anamorphic lens if yes what is the squeeze factor of that lens these are the four things you need to know before making every frame lines then after that, you need to prepare your USB or USB-C or SD card. Many different cameras take different drives, like older ARRI cameras are taking uh, SD card and then Alexa Mini and Mini LF are taking USB. And instead of that, ARRI Alexa 35 is taking USB-C drive. So whatever it takes, just put it in, go to menu, and then prepare USB medium by going to media. And here you can click on this and it will prepare the USB medium. So by preparing USB medium, what it means is like when you click on that option, it's gonna create a folder structure on your drive, whether it's a SD card, USB-C or USB drive. And whatever the frame lines you will make, you will have to put in a proper folder for the camera to recognize. If you don't put that, it will not recognize. And the other thing is, if you are clicking on prepare USB medium and it's not happening, then your drive is not formatted properly. So try to format your drive in FAT32. So after you have prepared your USB medium, there will be a folder structure on your USB, which will look something like this. If I open this, I will just show you. It will say ARRI, and after that it will say Alexa 35, and frame lines, grabs, licenses, log, look files, manual, sensor, setup, and sub. So these are the uh, folders which camera is gonna create by itself on your drive. After that, you need to open your web browser and search for ARRI frame lines tool and don't click on the first one because it will take you to the help page which you don't wanna go. You really wanna go to the tool which is here on the second line, ARRI frame line and lens illumination tool. I will click on this. It will open up the ARRI frame lines tool and then after that, I'll show you how it works. After you have opened the ARRI frame lines tool, it's going to show you something like this where you will have to select the camera. First of all, I have Alexa 35 and the firmware version is 1.2. So I'll click here and then it's going to show you the whole setting. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to select the resolution. So my camera is going to be in open gate 4.6K 3x2 open gate. I'll click on that and I am shooting ARRI RAW. You need to make sure if you are in ARRI RAW or ProRes. For me, it's ARRI RAW, so I'll click on this. And then lens squeeze factor. You know, I told you, you need to ask the guys if you are shooting any anamorphic lens and what is the squeeze factor of this, that lens. So if I have anamorphic lens, I will come and I will apply the squeeze factor of the lens. Like Cook Anamorphic is having the normal Super 35 lenses are having 1.8 squeeze factor and then Cook Anamorphic full frames are having two uh, squeeze factor. So I'll just apply that before making the frame lines. But for now, I'm just using uh, normal lenses, Canon FTs, which are not having any squeeze factor. They are uh, prime lenses, uh, circular. So I'll just leave it as it is. And then I need to come here. I am being told by my DP and my focus puller that I need to create 16 by nine frame lines and then nine by 16 corners. So what I'll do is I'll just come here. First, I will create the 16 by nine frame lines, which is 1.78. And you can see it's full box, which is the style. And I will leave it as it is. I can create it in other ways like I can have it as a corner, I can have it as a tick width, I can have it as tick height, whatever I want but I am being told that I need to have the full box of 16 by 9. So there we go and you can see it is there. Now the second thing if I come here you can see there is shading and there is center mark. If I increase shading it's gonna add shading on the frame lines. I will recommend that don't put any shading here because if you apply here and you bring the frame lines in, it will already be there. And if the DP tells you to remove that shading, you'll not be able to do that. 
so leave it empty and in camera you can add shading as well so don't do it here and then center mark is the same thing if you want to add it here you can add but you'll not be able to remove that after so leave it and you can add it in the camera so i'll keep it on none now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the frame line b and i will add 9 by 16 now so if i come here there is no 9 by 16 by default so I'll, I'll go to set custom and i will type in 9 by 16 and i'll say apply so you can see when i applied it made a full 9 by 16 box here but i am being told that i need to have the corners of this so i will go to style and i will click on corner now i have 9 by 16 corner and 16 by 9 full box which is the requirement i will leave the shading as it is i will uh, leave the mark center mark as it is and i'll come here and i'll give it a name as a35 og open gate and then i will say 16 by 9 16 by 9 full uh, fb full box and then 9 by 16 corner that's the name i'll give him give it and then i will download the xml file okay and then now i have the xml file what i need to do now is i will just go to my downloads so i will come to my downloads i'll copy the file okay and then i will go to the folder structure which was being created by the camera which is airy alexa 35 and frame lines and i will copy paste it here so now i have this file now the camera i am not having it with me for now but tomorrow i'll have it so to show you guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just open the alexa 35 simulator so i'll just say airy alexa 35 simulator Uh, it will open it I will open it in the full screen open in full screen mode it will take some time and there you go you have opened it now I'll go to menu to import the frame lines I'll go to menu I'll go to monitoring I'll click on it I'll go to frame lines click on it I'll go to none and I'll click on it and then in the add button I'm gonna click and it will say please insert USB medium because this is a simulator but in camera it will be there and you will be seeing the file which you have imported here after that you will need to go to that file and click on import then you will do import it will come here with the default files on the top it's gonna be showing the name of the file which you imported and then you will go on that file let's say it's this file you will go there and you will just say set and it is set now and after that if you're not being able to see it on your uh, sdi out or on your uh, viewfinder screen what you need to do is you need to go back and go to sdi so go to sdi click on it click on processing and then go to the overlays here the frame lines should be ticked if it's not ticked you will not be able to see that so make sure it's being ticked and you know i was telling you that you can uh, put the center mark after so here is the center mark you can put it as a small dot as a, a dot small dot cross or a small cross you have four options here to add so you don't need to do it in uh, the frame lines tool in airy and after that i will show you how you can add shading as well in your camera so i'll go back back i'll go to frame lines i'll click on frame line and you can see that frame line shading is here so you can add shading here it's saying evf like electronic viewfinder outside shading it's off monitor outside shading is off so what is evf so viewfinder screen when you see it in that is evf uh, electronic viewfinder screen uh, viewfinder and then monitor monitor is you see you have the viewfinder and then you have a screen in front that is the screen which is it's talking about and then sdi out sdi is the sdi cable out and you can come here you can increase it however you want and it will apply that i will cancel i will not do it because it's a simulator you know that 
and then I'll go back. After that, if you want to change the color of the frame line, you need to you can go on the frame line color, click on it, and you can choose the color which it's given red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and white. So these are the options you have, and you can add one of those. So that's how you do the frame lines thing in Airy uh, cameras. I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope that I covered every aspect of this tool, how it should be used, how the USB should be prepped, how the settings in camera should be done and everything. And if there is any other question, you can put it in the comment and I will reply to that. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informational videos like this. Uh, thank you so much for watching.